you're all having a good weekend. So today is just a kind of a get ready with me. Chill, total chill mode. And there's some products that I kind of wanted to use on camera for you guys. First, what sparked this is this Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Foundation. I'm in the color Vanilla. I have actually two samples of it and I've been wanting to use this ever since I hauled it. I wanted to mention real quick that I've already done my brows, which I just have the Anastasia Dip or er, Brow Wiz, and then I put uh, Dr. Brandt Pores No More on my face because that's just like my everyday routine. First and foremost, look at this necklace. How adorable is this necklace? I got this at a boutique, like around me. It's called Swankyville. They have a Facebook, and I'm pretty sure that they like uh, mail out orders, but it is so adorable. I'm in love with it. Okay, so let's just start getting ready. I have my door open back there just in case, like, somebody needs me. Um, everybody's still asleep and my husband's at work. So if the kids walk in, that's why. And my dog is right at my feet. So this says to shake well before use and it's very fluid like. I'm going to use my Sigma F80 flat top kabuki to apply this and my mirrors over here as you guys know. So if I keep looking over here, that's why. This is so lightweight. Feels like it's not even on my face. This is the first impressions, y'all. And I'm using natural daylight because it's super sunny out and I figured why not. And I have sinus issues today, so I'm probably gonna be sounding horrible. Okay, so there is the coverage. So let's apply it to the other side real quick. It's super like liquidy. But it's good coverage. It's not a full coverage for sure, but it is super lightweight. This would be a really good foundation in the summertime when it's hot. But I wanted to try it, especially because um, my skin's so dry. It's been kind of difficult to wear like a matte foundation or, you know, something that is kind of thicker. Like Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's been kind of hard for me to wear the past couple of weeks. Unless I use like an illuminating primer. Okay. So, ooh, it looks pretty. It actually looks like skin, you guys. I like that. It looks like I'm not even wearing a lot of makeup. Like maybe. But it has coverage. It covered my redness. Okay, let's try to build it a little bit on my nose and my chin. Because that's generally where I have like discoloration. I have like sunspots on my nose. And, um you know, hormonal redness, I guess, on my chin. So let's kind of see if it will build. And I actually like the way it applied with this F80 brush. It's really pretty. I'm interested to see how long this will last on my face. So I think what I'll do is, we're gonna be out and about all day. We're going shopping at a little, it's like a little town square around me and We've, I've never been there, so I'm kind of excited. It's an outdoor place. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to be able to check in throughout the day, but this week's Friday favorites, I'll update you guys on how well this lasted throughout the day and stuff. But I like it. You guys, have you tried this foundation? It's really pretty, and it just looks like skin. I'm really impressed. Okay, MAC Pro Longwear. This baby is still going strong. I've had this for like a year, you guys, and I use this is the one I use a lot. This is the most reached for concealer that I own. So I'm just going to conceal a little bit under my eyes and kind of highlight at the same time. So, did you all have a good Christmas and New Year's? I cannot believe when I think back, like, this is a crown brush. It's a C450. You need this brush in your life. I know Sigma has one that's like it. Um, I think the crown brush one is a little bit cheaper. And I used one of my friend's Sigma one. It's the same thing. This is amazing for concealer. Um, what I'm saying is, A, I can't believe it's 2015. B... 
You guys, I graduated 15 years ago. I was class of 2000 and when I was a little girl, my mom got a shirt made. I was like not even a year old and she got a little onesie made that said class of 2000. Isn't that adorable? I'm like, thank God I didn't fail a class or a grade. It's funny. I had, um, she had pictures of me like wearing that shirt and uh, all my baby pictures got burned down in a house fire. That's kind of sad, huh? Okay, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm going to use this. Honestly, though, I'm telling you guys, and you will know this if you watched my Best in Beauty 2014, the e.l.f. under eye setting powder is just as good. Honestly, I don't even see a difference in the two products. Except for my wallet sees a difference because the e.l.f. one is way cheaper. So I love that. I don't know why I didn't use it. I just got this one out. But I am going to use the e.l.f. High Definition Translucent Powder just to kind of set my face. I'm not going to use a lot. And I'm mainly going to use this in the T-Zone. Just because I'm going to be out and about all day and I won't have anything to freshen up, you know. But I'm seriously taking like a really small amount and just setting my T-Zone. I find with like really fluid like foundations like this one, they can tend to get a little bit oily on me. Even though I don't have really oily skin, sometimes it does. So I'm going to set it, girl. Okay, let's see. I'm going to use the Jane Inspire Bronzer. I don't think I'm really going to contour. It's because I haven't been really doing that lately. With the Bobbi Brown Bronzer Brush, this bronzer, it's the bomb. Especially, this is Inspire. If you are very, if you're fair skin, you need this one. This is the lightest one they have. But if you're darker skin tone, um, they have darker ones. But this is the best bronzer, hands down, at the drugstore, period. You can get Jane at Ulta. Um, I mean, I'm telling y'all, ooh, that brush is shedding. This brush is way too expensive to be shedding. Um, I'm telling y'all, do yourself a favor and go get a Jane bronzer because it's amazing. It's so silky soft. And honestly, I feel like after you really, because there's like a flower embedded into it. After you really get rid of that flower, it gets even softer. It's insane. I love it. It's $8. A lot of times Jane's like, buy one, get one half off or whatever. Let's try to get it on sale. I love it. It's not too orangey or anything, you know? And for fair skin people, especially in the winter time when we don't have any tan, stuff can tend to get really orange, you know? Okay, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula. I'm just going to do my face first. Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Rose. Physician's Formula and their names, I swear. They're like trying to compete and have the longest names of life. I'm wearing this because the lipstick that I picked to wear today is really loud. And I just want some pink cheeks. Becca Opal Highlight. It's gorgeous. It really is. You can overdo it with this product though, so you have to be careful. If I um, put this on with a fan brush, I can overdo it really quick. So I like this NARS brush for highlighting. I always add more. No wonder I'm always over highlighted because I always add more because it's so pretty. Okay. Eyes are gonna be pretty simple too because like I said, the main look is the lips. This is a Mika Beauty eye primer. I got this. In some kind of subscription service. I want to say it was Ipsy, but I've canceled Ipsy. I love this eye primer. It really cancels out any veins or redness. It matches a little bit better than Painterly because Painterly pulls a little bit pink and that kind of creates like a pinky lid, which is fine for some looks, but I love this and it really makes your shadows stay all day long and it just cancels out. It's the perfect base, I tell you. 
Okay. You know what I like to do though? I like to use some kind of, if you've been watching me, you know this, so I always say it, some kind of like powder to kind of set any cream shadow base or cream shadow. I'm just going to use the white one in the My Sculpted Face Palette just to kind of set it. I feel like it helps stuff glide on a lot easier. I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination, but it really, I feel like it really helps. And that kind of like highlights your brow bone at the same time. <laughs> a double whammy girl. I am going to use, this is such a funny combination and it's kind of, it, I'm not using any matte eyeshadows so it might not be for some people. But I have been loving this look lately, especially for a super simple eye. Burberry Pale Barley on the lid. Now you guys are probably like, really Ashley Burberry, come on. But the other, it's two shadows that I'm using, and the other one's Wet and Wild. So, I don't know. I just like the combination of the two. I love Pale Barley. I really do. This is a Real Techniques brush that I'm putting it on with. I love this time of year. You know, you know after the holidays, we got new toys to play with, and... I like to like stay home and cuddle up by the fire and stuff, but I'm telling you, there's so many sick people this time of year. Like you can hear my voice, it's all sinusy and cold and that's the part I hate. Y'all heard me say a million times, summer is my favorite time of year and it is because I feel like we don't really get sick in the summer. And when one person gets sick in our house, everybody gets sick. So, hopefully, mine is just sinuses, and I'm not going to pass it on to everyone else. You guys, I don't even know what color this is. I think it's like almond or chestnut or some kind of nut. But I'll list, I'll annotate it here because I, no, it's nutty. That's what it is. <laughs> this is the color nutty. Any swap that I've ever done here on YouTube, I think I've got everybody this this eyeshadow because it's so pretty. It's pretty on the lid, but I like to wear it in the crease, and that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I know people tend to stay away from these, like, eyeshadows that have a little bit of sheen to them for the crease, but I like it, girl. Yep. And this is like a dollar or two, this single eyeshadow. <clears throat> uh, you can get um, what mob like a... <clears throat> Walgreens. I have something in my throat, you guys. It's so gross. Okay, I've never taken an allergy medicine, like a, like a daily allergy medicine, but I'm seriously considering it. So if you take a daily, like Zyrtec or something, let me know in the description box. I guess I could go to the doctor and get a prescription of something, but they sell a lot of that stuff up, over the counter now, like Claritin. Let me know what you guys recommend. Like, as, pause the video or go down there right now and comment something because the, like the inside of my ears are itching, my throat's itching. You know, just regular sinusy junk, allergy stuff. But I don't know. I need help because I don't. I really don't like to take medicine, and that's why I haven't ever done a daily allergy medicine. But this season. I can't, you guys. It's been bad this season. And y'all know, I got the flu like in November. We all got the flu in November too. <sighs> this year has been sick. It's been a sick season. Okay, I am going to use just Strange from this Naked 3 palette because I have it out. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone a little bit and blend that. But isn't this combination so pretty? And I am going, I'm like doing everything outside the box today. I'm going to take that same nutty eyeshadow. I'm going to run it along my lower lash line. And I'm actually not going to put eyeliner on the top. I am going to put it in my waterline though. I know, crazy. This is the look I've been doing like day to day. And I've been liking it. And it's breaking every single rule. You guys wait until you see the lipstick I'm going to wear because that's breaking the rule of what kind of lipstick in which season to wear. But that's okay. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Inkblot, number 77 liner. This thing, 
will stay up in your waterline for like 24 hours. I'm telling you, it really will. I hate it when people do their waterline on camera, so I'm probably not going to. You know what? Because I'm crazy, we're going to put lash or um, whatever this is called, mascara on the lower lash line first. Yes, we are, girl. I'm telling you, I'm like a rebel. I'm a makeup rebel today, you guys. I'm doing everything that normal tutorials or get ready with me's don't do, and that's okay. Let's think outside the box. Now I'm gonna apply eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna apply mascara on the top. I'm using Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. This mascara is so good. Okay, one of my goals in makeup, <laughs> that sounds funny, for 2015 is to master putting on eyelashes. Does it bother you guys that I don't ever put on lashes? I don't know because I see people do like tutorials and when they put on false lashes, it just finishes off the look and looks so beautiful and professional. But let's be honest, like seriously, I don't want to do that every day or you know, a lot of people don't want to put false lashes on. So let me know what you think. Do you think I should start using false lashes? I mean, yeah, for special occasions, but I don't even do it for that because I can't do it. I, I have not mastered it. I think it looks funny. Maybe it's because I have a slightly hooded eye that I think it looks funny. I don't know. I love this mascara though. It's like false lashes in a bottle. Okay, let's show you what I'm putting up on my lips. I'm gonna use the Lime Crime Velveteen in Utopia. Okay, you guys, whenever I swatched this, I got this at the Makeup Show Dallas. This is one swipe, legitimately, okay? I fell in love with this one, and I also fell in love with another one, like a really deep berry shade, but I don't like the way they wear, but I'm, so many people swear by these, so I'm gonna try it again and see. I'm gonna apply Urban Decay's Anarchy Lip Liner. I feel like these kind of bleed a little bit and then like on the inside of your lip, after like an hour, they kind of leave a ring on the inside of your lip and I can't stand that. But I want these to work so bad because everyone loves them. So I'm gonna try it again. Now, the other one's called Wicked. That's the other one that I have and that one, it legit leaves a really bad like maroon line right there but if there's a trick to it that i don't know y'all have to let me know i'm telling y'all the color the pigmentation and everything of this is amazing that's why i'm trying it again um it's just gorgeous wait till you see it on my lips uh so sorry my camera cut off so i just finished applying this lipstick Actually, what I did this time, hopefully it helps the bleeding. I put the lip liner on first, and then I filled it in with this, and then I took the lip liner and kind of went around it again, so hopefully that helps. But here's the finished look. How cute. How cute is this headpiece? I got this from Bullhorn, shopbullhorn.com. I found them on Instagram. But I think it's cute and it keeps my head and my ears warm. So anyways, I hope you guys loved this getting ready with me. I love filming these because I sit here and talk to you guys like we're really getting ready together. So even though I broke every single makeup rule there is, I will see you guys next time. Bye.